What's up Illumineers, Mateus and Charlie here, and we're bringing to you a first look into the new starter decks for Into the Inklands. What are we gonna play, Charlie? I'm gonna be playing Ruby Sapphire, plenty of pluck. How about you? I'm playing Amber Emerald, Dogged and Dynamic. Are you ready to play this? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, hey. <laughs> So uh, we don't know much about these decks. We uh, we obviously know the deck list. We'll put them on screen now, but uh, the actual strategies, the cards that are in them, uh, it's really just what we covered in the news video. But I am going to be playing plenty of pluck. Uh, Matthias is going to be playing dogged and dynamic. Yes, that's the emerald amber on my end. Yes, and mine sapphire ruby. And uh, should we should we roll to see who's going to start? Definitely. Okay, so I have seventeen. Let's try. 12. 12, okay. Uh, I'll start the first game then. So we're going to do a best of three just so we can give the, the decks their opportunity to play out. I'm going to alter just one. I'm going to alter <laughs> five. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put Flintheart Glumgold into the ink and uh, I'll pass turn. Started, I'm drawing for turn. Perfect, good draw, exactly what I needed. And I'm going to be inking Harass. That is from set one, and then for one, I'm just going to bring Akida. She is a 2-2, two -two, questing for one, that's third. Okay, gonna draw for turn. So I'm gonna ink Huey. For two, I'm going to play here. He. He's a 3-2, that quests for one, and once per turn, when this character moves to a location, each opponent loses one more, and I will pass turn. Ooh, well, this care about locations. Ready, set, draw. I'm gonna go for the same strategy, inking Horas. Then for two, I'm going to bring Wendy Darling. Then I'm going to quest for one with Kida just to put some pressure. And that's done. Okay, so ready, set, draw. So I'm going to ink Cogsworth. For two, I'm going to play my first location, Motanui. <laughs> it's a two cost uh, with five willpower. Uh, it gives me one more per turn and it's got a, a move cost of one. And whenever a character is banished while at this location, I can put that card into my inkwell face down and exert it. So I'm going to move Hey Hey to that location. It's going to trigger his ability. So because he moved to a location, Matthias is going to lose one more. And uh, that cost me one ink. And then uh, that will be the end of my turn. So ready, set, draw. And locations are already starting to take effect. So I'm going to ink Hypnotize. Then for three. I'm going to bring the big, beautiful feature character Pongo into the board. So Pongo is a 3-2 quest for 1 and he has the ability Twilight Bark. Once per turn I may pay 2 ink to reveal the top of my card in the deck. If it is a character card I can put in my hand, otherwise I need to put on the bottom. So okay, so what I will do now is I'm going to quest for 3 with my 2 characters. Hoping that Hey Hey won't leave the location come back. <laughs> he doesn't have another location to play yet. And that's there. Okay, pretty. Set. So because I have a car uh, have a location in play, I'm going to gain one more during the set phase, and then I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to have here here challenge uh, Wendy Darling. So uh, she is banished. Here here takes one damage himself. I'm going to ink uh, Huey for three. I'm going to play Maui, soaring demigod. He's a five uh, a five two with the reckless ability and whenever a character of yours names Hey Hey Quests, he gains plus one more and loses his reckless this turn. And I'm going to use my last ink to also move him to the location. I'll just put him there since he's still drying. And I will pass turn. Good. So ready, set, draw. So Hey Hey has one point of health back or willpower remaining. Okay, I'm going to ink uh, Kit Cup out Kicker. I will use three to bring Wildcat. Wildcat is a 2-3. The quest for one evasive character that can also exert to banish an item. Mm -hmm. And I will use one more to improvise, so that allows me to draw a card, and I can give one additional attack to one of my characters. And I'm going to give that to... Ongo. So with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually banish Motunui. Uh, I didn't really need to at the point, okay. but I did anyway because I wanted the card more than anything. Okay, so Motunui is banished. Uh, he He falls out of Motunui, as does my Maui. And as that's the end of the turn. Okay, so ready, set, draw. I really would have liked that ink. <laughs> um, okay, so sorry. 
not really my characters. Uh, well, I'll start anyway. I'll start with four rank. I'll play Flintheart Glomgold. He's a three four uh, quest for two. And during your turn, this character gains evasive, so it'll allow me to da deal with Wildcat if I need to. And I think I would rather you challenge me if you need to. So I'm going to quest with here here for one. Uh, here here's ability. Uh, sorry, and then because I've quested with here here. Um, I gain plus one law this turn. I can quest with Maui, so he loses reckless. So I'm gonna gain another law and I'll pass turn. Ready, set, draw. Could be Ezink. Then for five, I'm bringing Nani. And she Ooh. is a three six quest for two and she's a bodyguard. I'll actually bring her into play as a bodyguard. So I'm going to trade Peter for Maui. Okay. Then I will. Quest for two, and that's that. Okay, ready, set, draw. That hurts. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, today, okay. So I'm going to put uh, Mini Mouse into the ink for all five. Let's create some space for all five. I'm going to play Mid Marion. Uh, she's a four-four quest for two, and when I play this character, chosen character gets minus two attack this turn. I'm going to give that to to Nani. And then I will trade. I, uh, I will swing Hey Hey and Flintheart into her, so she does uh, only one damage to Hey Hey, but that banishes him. One damage to Glomgold, and then I will pass turn. Not complaining. At least was two actions towards her. Yes, it took a lot to get her off the board, but I was worried. Yeah, okay, I'm going to ink uh, Rolly. Then for five, I'm bringing Don Carnage. It's a 4 4 quest for 2, but also evasive. So I have a board of 2 evasives. Obviously, on your turn, you can attack me. But if I banish you first, you won't be able to do that. I'm gonna use the the big pongo to banish you, but I'm also trading. It okay. Can change. And then I will quest for 1 with Wildcat, and that's third. Okay, and Wildcat's also evasive. It is also evasive. Lots of evasive and, threats. Uh, so I'm drawing for turn. I'm gonna use 3 ink to play Agrabah. It's a location that has five willpower. It gives me two law per turn, and it has a move cost of one. And uh, I'll use the remaining two ink to play Della Duck. She's a three, three reckless character, so she can't quest and must challenge if able. And then I will put a little bit of pressure by questing with Maid Marion for two more law, and then I'll pass turn. Ready, set, draw. Going to ink Patch, then for seven. I'll bring Big Pluto. Ooh. So he is a bodyguard, uh, 3 8 passing for 2, and he has the ability that Guard Dawn at the start of your turn remove up to 3 damage from this character. I'm gonna use both to swing at Agrabah, just remove the thread of Take passive lore, and that's there. Okay, so ready, set. Well, uh, I will use one to play Flounder. He's uh, a card you might remember from the first set. He's a 2 2 that quests for 1, a vanilla. Um, Della Duck has nothing that she can challenge right now. Mid Marion, however, can quest for two, and I will pass turn. Great. Ready, set, draw. One thing that is very nice to talk on the side here is how you see some different cards from the different sets coming back. That's very common with starter decks. They just recycle and try to make them be as syner synergetic as possible with the what you're coming out. So don't be surprised if that's your first time buying a starter deck of a new set. I'm just gonna go with the strategy of being aggro. I'm gonna use two to bring uh, Dalmatian Puppy, Tail. Wagon. He's a 2-3 questing for 1, and I can have 99 copies of those in my deck. I don't need that at the moment. Questing for 3, and that's third. Okay, ready, set. Drawing for turn. Okay, I'm gonna use 3 to play Agrabah. You might remember this. <laughs> Another uh, one. You're gonna give me 2 law. And then, because I can't really touch Mateus' character, this is just a quest for law, so I'm gonna quest with Flounder and Mirmarian for another 3. Bring me on 10, and I will pass turn. Ready, set, draw. So I'm gonna use one to improvise again. So what I do is I'm gonna put one more damage to Don Carnage and I can draw a card. Then I'm going to use one, another improvise. This time I'm giving to big old Pluto um, and then drawing a card, if I can. <laughs> I think I'm drawing two at the moment. Cool, and then I'll use the remaining five to bring Nani. 
No. And she'll come as a bodyguard <laughs> as well. So what I'm going to do here is with Carnage, I will attack Agubba to defeat okay. it. Then I will... I mean, you might as well have another bodyguard. I just want to take Maid Marion, so I'll go for it. Okay, so, so you're trading. she's out. Okay, you're yeah. minus four. I am minus four. And I no longer attack. And then I'm going to quest for... Uh, no, actually, I'm going to use the puppy to attack Flounder. Flounder. Okay, so you're minus, minus two. two. And then I'll quest for one with this guy here. Yeah. And obviously, she's also a bodyguard, and that's turn. Okay. And minus two to me. So minus two, okay. and that's turn. Okay, so I'm going to draw for turn. Um, I will use five. I, I mean, I think the game's pretty much wrapped up at this point. I have nothing to deal with with uh, your characters. I will play mid Marion. Um, I'm going to give the minus two uh, to to Pluto because he's pretty much one of the few characters I can hit. Uh, uh, so he will take three extra damage. Mm -hmm. She will take uh, there you go. Can have damage counter. Yeah. She will just take one, and uh, that's my turn. So ready, set, and then during the set phase, I can heal myself in three. Yeah. We can take this out, which is a quite good stuff for Pluto. And then I will draw. And for two, I'm going to use the Strike a Good Match, is a song that I can draw two cards, then choose and discard a card. So one, two. I think I'll go for this strategy instead, so I'm going to discard Neverland. Okay. Then for two, I'm going to bring Wendy Darling. So it's just a uh, one three quest for two, but she's cheap and she can quest for a good quantity. Yeah. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the questing at this stage. I'm going to quest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bringing me to eighteen. Makes sense. The... <laughs> I don't think there's any way out of this, but let's draw anyway. Um, well, we'll see what we can do. I'll use four to play Grandma Tala. She's a three, four quest for one. Uh, and when I play this character, I can look at the top two cards of my deck, I can put one into my hand, I put the rest on the bottom. I think all of these are coming a little bit too late, um, but I'm going to put this one into my hand. What is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> put that one on the bottom. Quest with Maid Marion for two. Um, Della can't even finish anyone off, uh, so I'll have her swing into Pluto because she has to. Uh, take another minus three. You're still on the board, and I'll pass the turn so you can close the game. That's game. That's game. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Okay, so since I lost the previous game, I'm gonna start again, see if I can have a little bit better luck this time. Round two, fight! So I'm gonna alter three. I'm gonna try to three as well. Okay. Or mulligan three. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting uh, Cogsworth into the ink yet again, and I will pass turn. Ready, set, draw. Cool, I'm going to do like last turn and put a Horace as ink. I wonder what you're going to play. And then for one. <laughs> I'm going with Kida. She's a 2 2 questing for one beautiful card, and that's there. Okay, so I'm going to draw for turn. Oh, I hate to do it, but I'm going to ink uh, Flint Hard Glomgold. And um, for two, I'm going to play Motonui, something you saw in the previous game. Uh, it gives me one more per turn, and when a character's banished while at that location, I can put them into my ink well, and I'll pass turn. Set draw. So I'm going to ink Devil uh, Mana, so my location. I hate doing that as well because I would love to be using locations. And then for two, I'm bringing Wendy Darling. She's a 1 3 costing for two, but she can quest for two, which is great. And I'll quest with Kida for one, and that's there. Did you shuffle that deck? It's the same, uh, no, right? <laughs> the same game as last turn. Okay, so I'm going to uh, draw for turn. Uh, I should have gained one law during the set phase because mm -hmm. of my location. I'm going to put Minnie Mouse into the ink, and for three, I will play Dewey. He's a two, three, quest for two, and he also has a support, so whenever this character quests, I can add his attack, uh, sorry, his strength to another character, and I will pass turn. Amazing, so ready, set, draw. I will use this new character I just got as ink, so Dalmatian Puppy. Okay. Then for three, I'm going to my Wildcat mechanic. He's a two, three, questing for one, and he's evasive. And also, if I exert this character, I can banish chosen item. Okay. And after that, I'm going to quest for three. Just going for that strategy of aggro that I did in the last turn. Okay. Just, just turn. So ready, set, gaining one off my location, and drawing for turn. Ink, Grand Matala. I'll use one ink to move Louis to this location of Motonui so that if he does happen to get banished, he's gonna still be able to generate me some ink. 
I'm then going to use three to play Kakomora. He's a 3-2 quest for one. And when I play this character, each opponent loses one law. So say goodbye to that law. <laughs> and then I'm going to have Louis challenge Kida, take her out, uh, put two damage on me. And with that, I will pass turn. So ready, set, draw. So I will ink this guy now. So okay. I'll get, I will put a second one. And then for three, I'm bringing Flotsam. He is a five, two questing for one. And he has an ability that any character's named Jetson gets plus three. So pretty much his brother. And I will use one to bring my first location into this match. And that's a Neverland. There is a willpower of four and he possibly quests for one. But it's never in a location, it's nowhere close to Matanui. I'm still happy about <laughs> it. And then after that, I am going all the way again and questing for three, bringing me to six, and that's my turn. Okay, so ready, set, getting some law, draw for turn. So I will use one to move Kakamura also into Matanui. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, Dewey uh, swing into Wendy, so we trade. Huey then, because he's in Motonui, gets to go into my Inkwell first down and exerted. That just leaves Kakamora there. Uh, Kakamora is going to swing into your location Neverland, doing three damage. And then with my remaining three ink, I'm going to play Webby Vanderquack. She's a 3 4 quest for one vanilla. And I will pass turn. Good. So ready, set, draw. And don't forget to get your law for during the okay, set phase. Good remind. So again, passive law. Every time earning, at least I got one. Uh, then I am inking Hypnotize. Okay. Then for five, I'm bringing Don Carnage. He's an evasive. Four, four, quest for two. Uh, I'm a bit worried about Mutunui and all the destruction he can do. So I'm going to use my Flotsam okay. to take it, it down. Okay, so Mutunui is gone. My uh, Kakamoto falls out of there. And then I will quest for one with Wildcat and that's okay. it. So ready, set, draw. Okay, uh, so I really just need to deal with some of those evasive threats, I think. So let's use four to play Moana. She's a three, four, quest for one, and she also has evasive. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm going to have uh, my Kakamora challenge Flotsam, get him off the board. And then Webby, I think she is going to help deal with Neverland. And uh, yeah, that'll be turn. So yeah. Yeah, so I challenge uh, the sheet. So I will not earn that passive lore now. <laughs> Where's my bodyguards? Where's my bodyguards? <laughs> okay, so ready, set, draw. Okay, I'm going to ink Horas. Okay. Then I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to use four to bring Tinkerbell. Okay. So she's a one four classic for one. She's non inkable, but she, with her ability to make a new friend, I, I can look at the four cards on the top of my deck, review a character card, put in my hand, and put the rest on the bottom in any order. Okay, it's a good ability. So it's a good one, but I, I don't understand this deck enough to see if there's a character that it really matters. I'm going to, I have to show you. Yes. I have Rolly Hungry Pup. Okay. And I'm keeping him to my hand. Yep, and the rest go into the bottom of your deck. I don't deck. have a hand, do I? You know, no, that's it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the rest goes to the bottom of the deck in any order. And then after that, I know Moana is gonna defeat one of my characters, but I will go for the aggressive method again. So questing for three, nine, 10, 11, and that's third. Okay, so I'm gonna ready, set, and draw for turn. Well, Matthias is right. I'm going to have Moana take out Wildcat. Uh, so she does three damage to him, banishes him. She herself takes two damage. Uh, Webby can't, can't hit uh, Don Carnage because of his, uh, his evasive. So I'm going to have her quest for one. Um, and then I think I need to just start playing a little bit aggressively. So I'm going to use one for a flounder. Uh, so if I put him this, this side. Use one for a flounder. And I will use two for a hey hey. Uh, uh, so again, hey hey, uh, once per turn when he moves to a location, uh, my opponent loses one more, and I'll pass turn. So ready, set, draw. Where's my blue head <laughs> I'm going to use four to bring Cubby. 
So he's a 3-5 classic for one, but he has the ability the bear. If I had a location here, as soon as I move it, I get three attack in this round, but I don't have a location. And then I will just can do anything to you. No, I wouldn't be able to kill Moana. I will do the same aggressive approach. Quest for three. I'm not gonna ink this turn. And that's okay. So ready. Set. And draw. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm gonna start. Don't call just getting far too much lore right now. So I'm gonna play Dragonfire. So this is an action that banishes chosen character. I would rather use it on something bigger, but otherwise it's just gonna run away with the game. So we'll get rid of Don Carnage. It's uh, very upsetting having to do that. I will have um, everything just quest for one lore. It's so slow. <laughs> I'll have Flounder and Hey Hey both challenge uh, Tinkerbell. So she's gone, they each take one. Put that on them. At least you're playing my board. Yeah, and then I'll quest with Webby. I'll quest with Moana. I just think it might be too little, too late at this point, and uh, that's turn. Okay, ready, set, draw. So I have the brother now coming to play. Jetson. <laughs> He's a two, -two ah, okay. for two, but I don't have the other one anymore to <laughs> give, give us effect. a good. Uh... Yes, yeah. and then three to bring Roly, as okay. you saw earlier, he's a 3-3 questing for one, but he's a support, so when I quest with him, I can add his three attacks to another character. Okay. I'm going to quest for one, and you can attack him if you want. I think that was that's the right call. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has a big butt of five, so if he wants to, he has to use two characters. Okay, so I'm going to ready, set, and draw. I'll tell you what, I'm going to ink Agrabah. I'm going to use three to play another Agrabah, so again, this is a two cost location. Because I need to slow you down, I'm gonna move uh, here, 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 which triggers his ability. Mateus is gonna lose one more. Um, and then, I mean, Kubi's gotta go if I wanna do anything in this game. So I'm gonna have uh, Webby uh, challenge him, so she takes uh, three damage, he takes three damage. Yep, are you finishing him? Uh, yes, and then okay. I'll finish him with here, here. So here, here. It's gone. Spanished. Okay. He's gone. And then he did, he did his job of yeah. getting one lower. <laughs> and then while I'm here, I'm gonna use my last two to also move these characters to this no. location. And then why I'm, would you put them there? I'm playing the long game. I'll quest with okay. these for two, and then I will pass turn. But do you get anything back? No, not yet. Okay. But I had the ink, so I thought I would use it. Okay. So ready, set, draw. And I'm curious about Charlie's strategy. Moving to a vanilla location for vanilla character, but I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna use two to bring Helga Sinclair. She's a two one, quasi for one, and her ability nothing personal. When this character is challenged and banished, banish the challenging character. Okay. So it's just to destroy a character in the process or banish a character in the process. I'm going to quest for one, which gives his three attack to him. Okay. Yeah. And with the three attack, I'm just gonna banish this location. Actually, okay. So I'm gonna sacrifice my character for removing a location. Okay, so these are gonna um, fall out of so there. So came out of the location, blue. Yep. And that's there. Okay. Well, that hurts, because I really needed my characters to be at a location. <laughs> we'll never I, know the strategy now. What I wanted to do, <laughs> I, you might be about to see it anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use two to play a Motinui. So I do have another location in play. Uh, oh, sorry, these, are, these guys are ready. So I'll have uh, Webby uh, banish Roly. Yep. I'll have Flounder <laughs> banish <laughs> Jetson. So I'm trading. Yeah. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna use one to move Moana to this location. I'm then gonna use three to shift into my big Moana. Oh. So. Uh, what should do? Uh, she. Uh, whenever this character quests while at a location, ready. All other characters uh, here. Interesting. When they quest. You can, uh, they, oh, sorry, they can't quest for the rest of the turns. That's what I was going to try and do. Okay. So, uh, See, there was something coming. Right now, uh, if I expose her, she is going to be vulnerable, taken by Helga, yeah. but it would give me a lot of ink. So uh, just to get some law on the board, yeah. I'm going to do that. Uh, I wish I had some characters and it's all other characters. She can't yeah. ready herself and I'll pass. So ready, set, draw. Do I want to give that all the ink to him? That's the question. So I'm going to use three, or sorry, not even three, four for Cubby. You've seen him before. Okay. Three, five, question for one. If there was a location, he'll benefit from attack. And I'll do exactly what Charlie said, yep. which willpower. So I'll okay. trade. So I'm going to get the two ink because of yes. Motinui. 
but at least I remove a little bit of the trash yes. of her uh, writing characters, and that's okay. Like... So ready, set. So because I have a location, I'm gonna get one more, and I'm gonna draw for turn. Look at that, he's growing, he's growing. No, I'm gonna use two to play Scrooge McDuck. He's a one-three quest for one, and whenever this character quests, you pay one less for the next item you play this turn. I don't Ooh. currently have an item, but uh, <laughs> that'll be the end of my turn. So ready. Set draw. It's crazy that I'm still a six pink only. Uh, but I mean, I can't do much. I'm gonna use three. I'm bringing Jasper also from set one. He's two four, quest for one, and his ability puppy napping. <laughs> Whenever this character quests, chosen the opposing character can quest during their next turn, so I can just stop them for questing. Okay. Obviously, that doesn't apply to a location. Uh, and then after that, I would just quest for one, and that's turn. Okay, so ready, set, draw. Um, I will use four. To play Moana, she's a 3 4 quest form with evasive. I might as well. I'll use two ink. I'm sorry, I should have got gained a lot because of the location. I'll use two ink to move them to the location. And really, I think it's just a race to the end now. So I'll quest with Scrooge and I'll pass turn. Is it coming another a big Moana? No, because there is no second one in the starter. <laughs> oh, there's deck. not. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing that for Motonoi, obviously. Yes. Uh, okay. Not that I need more ink at this point, <laughs> but uh, may as well, I have the ink to play with. Might as well. So I'm going to add uh, one attack to Jasper. Okay. So he has three. And then I will draw a card because I use Improvise. So it was more, draw. It was more for the in. draw yeah, than <laughs> anything love else. some of that in this deck. <laughs> so I will use three to bring another Roly. Three, three, Classic for one with support. So with that additional attack, I'm just going to banish Scrooge McDuck. Okay. I'll get one back in return. Yeah, and he goes into my inkwell. He goes to his inkwell, and yeah. I'll quest for one, and that's there. Okay, so uh, Matthias will win on the next turn if I uh, don't do things. So ready, set, and a draw. I don't think that's going to be enough, unfortunately. Um, I'll win. use I'll use two for Della Duck. I'll okay. use another one to put her into my uh, into Motunui, yeah. and then I will have Moana. Challenge Jasper, she takes two. He is gone. He's gone. So but I, I see yeah. don't lose in the next turn. But I think it's just a survive <laughs> another time, day. Time, yes, and I'll pass turn. Okay, it's already set, draw. This match is so much longer. <laughs> <laughs> then, okay, I, it's so bad to not have cards on hand. Like, it's just card by card. I'm using four to bring Patch, this beautiful dog. He's a three, four, classic for one. Chosen character gets minus two attack until the start of their next turn. If you which is amazing, but yeah. I need to exert first. He's drying. I cannot do that right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna go for the for the Lord, to be honest. Yeah. So quest for two. Wait, is that the right thing to do? Yeah. It is. Yes. I, I was just counting yours. Yeah. You can only do two in the next yeah. turn. I've only so got turn. I've only got one other card in this deck, I yeah. believe. I, that could deal with the unexerted character. So which unless is Charlie Fire. Yeah, unless Charlie can <laughs> defeat or banish Patch. Yeah. The next turn is mine. Okay, well, I'll use three to play Maui Demigods. I'll use one to put him in a location. Della has to challenge and the one the only one she can defeat is Rolly, so she'll challenge Rolly and we'll trade. Uh, sorry, she goes into my inkwell. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Quest with Moana for one. That's turn. You can bring it up. There you go. Good game.